and welcome to Under the Moon's Indie Games Spotlight. Uh, what is this? Well, it's a new thing I thought I'd try out, and uh, we're going to be looking at some some indie games, really. And uh, I know I know I've done uh, Lifeless Planet was was sort of an indie game, but I want to look at ones which is sort of you know just one person on their own doing this, and uh, see what creative creative games we can find out, find some some diamonds in the rough, and uh, yeah, uh, just generally have a good time. Uh, try a different variety of games as well. So uh, without further ado, let's try our first game out. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we are. Our first indie game spotlight game. And um, I'm not going to touch any controls, so we're just going to go on what I can see already. So what can I see? I got, okay, so we've got two hands. Four fingers, or three fingers, one thumb. So we're not human. There's some weird sound effects. Sounds like we're in a, a city or something. Uh, there's squares in front of us. This looks like a bit of a corruption, but I'm wondering if it's something more. If I go left, then. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so it looks like there's something else. Ooh, let's, let's turn the, the very sensitive mouse. And, um, oh, okay, so it was a window, and we are in a room, and wow. Okay, so... Pixels. This looks more like... Polygons, and then with a little post-effect pixels done. But anyway, this is kind of cool. Uh, first thing I think is out of my head, but can you see around the fingers? I noticed this when we came in the game. The fingers actually have... You know, the light actually goes around the thing. That's pretty cool. So I'm wondering, so we can sort of see our skeleton. If we get a big enough piece there. Ooh. Anyway, sorry, okay. So it looks like there's a... Excuse me. Looks like there's a planet in the sky. And there's a moon around it as well. So, uh, interesting. Anyway. So let's... So WSAD, normal controls. Oh, door's opened. Let's have a look outside. Ooh, ooh what's going on up there? Is it like a window or something? Let's have a look around here. Nothing. Oh! Oh, cool. There's, alien up. There's two aliens. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm guessing these are aliens. Hey, how you doing? You gonna... Okay. You gonna crab walk? Or is it just... Yeah, it's just how I am. Oh, that was open a second ago. Maybe that's his door. But you can see there's a nice pixelated lens flare there as well. Very nice. Uh, anyway, so let's continue down this hallway. Our friend here is probably just on a rail. Interesting though. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's off again. Okay, and you can see the shadows as well. This is really interesting. Okay, so let's go past here. So we've got what four rooms? One, two, three, four. Interesting. That was my one there. So um, I can hear what sounds like flying stars. This is very sort of has I don't know. Yeah, it feels very coruscanty. Uh, if you know what I mean. Let's go through this elevator. Go through the elevator. Oh! Okay. We've come to the bustling... Wow, look at this place. So that's the elevator we just came down on. And here's the city. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Whoa! Okay, it's easy there. So uh, let's... Check this place out. We've got, like, a bar in here. We have. Look at this. You're right there, my friend. Oh, oh, look at that. It changes as I walk around him. That's cool. And here we've got the uh, live house band. Yee. Cool. Okay, so let's. Um, so it looks like everybody sort of changes as I go around him. That's really cool. Uh, apart from the barman, he seems to be just interested in seeing if I want to drink. Let's get him on the bar stool. Hello, I'd like a, um, a, a round of your finest uh, alien beverage. How about the um, the green Galapus? That always I've heard good things about her gifts. No, okay. All right then. Well, thanks. Thanks for anyway. Uh, okay, so let's. Wow, it's fantastic. This is really cool. It's. it's Yes, you know, it's all pixels and everything, and it all looks like a bunch of nonsense, but you can really tell when you move around. It's really cool just how much interaction is going on, and it's just fantastic. Oh, what's that? It's 
like a shoot up there or something. Okay, so let's go through. So this game was created by a chap named Tom Van de Bogart. Uh, sorry if I've said that wrong. And uh, he put it up onto Game Jolt. He's had a couple of other games. Um, but yes, this one's just sort of recently come out over the last month, I guess, I think. And um, yeah, I, I think it's just a... As far as I know, it's just like a, a nice walk around type of cityscape thing. Where are we now? Oh, there's the that planet in the sky. So it looks like it's night time. You right there, my friend? Oh. Oh. Have we got cars going past? We have as well. Look at that. Well, we can't see them, but the headlights imply and the sound effects. Okay, so let's continue on over this bridge. We don't seem to be going as fast. We have to build up some speed. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you again. Okay. So yeah, the the city we are in is called the Poof, which is spelt the, so T-H-E, and then P-F-F, -F, so Poof. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce Poof. Whoa, okay. So we got a sphere. Interesting. Okay, well, maybe there's some more relevance to that later, I guess. We'll just go back. Let's go for the elevator. Okay, so that's the city again. Whoa. Some crazy noises. I'd be interested to see what you guys think about the pixel stuff because at first it was oh here we are again at first it was quite a you know it took the eyes getting quite getting used to but um it's alright now I'm quite charmed by it. It's another bar. Same layout? No different layout. I seems to be no live band just overhead Whoa look at this guy. Have you eaten like a bone and it hasn't gone down your throat? <laughs> Is that a speaker? Yeah. Now this is really cool, guys. This is sort of like um, I'm really liking this. It is. It, it really does feel like. Um, have you ever ever played? Uh, there was the PS2 game Bounty Hunter, and it was all about Django Fett and his little pre Star Wars Episode Two um, life, I guess. And there's a door there. Should we? Let's continue down this way because that's a door. So this is sort of still the same area, but yeah. And it was in 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 Bounty Hunter, you'd go around Coruscant uh, lower levels, and it felt quite similar. Not so much, you know, the interaction with these aliens and bars and everything, but that quiet sort of hum. Mm, yeah, let's go for it. Whoa. Okay, we've gone to the green section. But yeah, it's just it just has that same vibe except. I don't know, there's... When I was configuring the controls, there was like... Oh, is there an old man outside? Can you not get into the bar? Oh, hang on. Oh! Okay, he's urinating. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, look, more people who can't swallow bones. Maybe he can't get in because he's, he's not these type of guys. Whoa, he's going for it. You go for it, my friend. There's a reason why no one's around you. Hey, um, I have a feeling I'm not really supposed to be here. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not of the tentacle um, species. So I have four fingers, three fingers and one thumb. You okay? Oh no, he, look, he's, he's not one of them. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything more here. So let's... What's up? So let's go out. Leave him to his urinating needs. Uh, <laughs> wow. He's got a big tank. It's got a little square now. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, let's check out that other door, um, which we may have gone through. So let's head back down through the long corridor. There's a lot of long corridors in this game, guys. Clip, clip, clip. Come on, go faster. With this, I can't. There's not really a run button. It's just. You press W, and um, he just gets faster over time. So let's go through here now. Has this changed color? It's always... Oh, no, it's always... Like, oh. I thought we broke one of the doors then. 
Yes, let's go through here. Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. Hello? Okay. Hey, what's going on? You got... Is that like a phone she's got? I'm guessing it's a she. She's got a lipstick. Hey, she's got a mobile phone. What? Okay, so there's nothing much. Oh, is it Subway? Oh, check this out. Whoa. That's amazing. Wow. Holy baloney, if that's even a word. I guess we can't get on it, it's just like a... Well, that's cool. Um, okay. No, I still can't, can't get a train. Right, what's this? This seems like a hole. I don't really want to go down any holes just yet. I'd rather go in areas where we can, you know, walk around and such. So let's go left. Can we get through this door? Oh, it's another elevator. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Actually, no, no. Unless they're all elevators, they're pretty. I think they are going to be. Yeah, that's an elevator as well. Any more areas around here? Just another elevator. Okay. So let's head for our original one where we were going for. Door number one. Left door, if you like. Oh, wow. We've made it to a, like a car park. Hello? Someone over there. Car park without any cars. Okay, the signs is sort of a bit. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just continue over here. Come on, let's run a bit quicker. It's, I don't know if something's happening. I'm sure over time we'll get closer and closer. It seems like maybe a security guard or something down here. Oh. Okay, we've got. Some English music. Oh, he's. Ah, oh, so many people urinating here. Okay, so this is. Oh, okay, so they're watching. A couple of friends watching. Um, cars, it looks like. I saw a Bugatti Veyron then. Yeah, they're just looking at car pictures. Well, this is not my audience, guys, so let's just. So let's have a little. You know, they must have been getting the. Um, the the, <laughs> the earth channels there okay so let's just like keep to the edges I don't know I, do you think anything else is going to be around here it's hard to say because I don't know I mean yeah pixels are I don't know anyway, let's just uh, I'm, I'm mumbling now I'm mumbling let's just keep going and see if we can find anything No, there doesn't seem to be anything else here apart from the Rude Boys checking out their, their cars and earth music. So let's go back through through the door and we'll try the right hand door this time and see where that takes us. This is the car park that comes up to here. Down there is the subway. And through here, could this be more car park? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh. Okay. Oh, another elevator. Okay, well, let's. I don't like. I said, don't want to go too far. Um, so let's go back and just try the central one this time. And the central one seems to be more like you know it's right in front of the stairs. So are we going to get like a little you know downtown square again or something? Let's find out. Oh no, it's like a whole. We got a classroom. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Sup? Hey, can you pass this to uh, to our uh, Goblob over there and see if she likes me? Just just pass that there. Yeah, thanks. Well, I don't really understand the language. So I don't think I'm just going to leave. What is that? Some weird text and then a humanoid shape. That's fantastic. I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave class. It's just this isn't for me. I'm I'm sorry. And again, two more doors. Um, there's another. Okay, they're all elevators. Okay, I've um. Ah, let's go back to that other one. Let's go back to that other one. So we've seen the classroom. Ooh. So let's go through this one and see what was through that door. There wasn't anything at the end, was there? No. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Are we going to find some... It looks like it's just someone's apartment or something. Hello? Hello? He's cooked into the Jap Japanese channel. Um. Whoop. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so there's nothing much here, so that's fine. We can go back. Um. Okay. Right, so we found like a paint shop or something, I guess. A, a coloured square shop. Very strange, guys. Very strange. Yeah. So let's head back. So it seems to be like a, a private area just for the guy who owns the paint shop. That's not too bad, is it? Right, so let's go through these the central doors now. And... I'm going to go purple. Wait, is there like a... Do you think there's like a code? Like a, a meaning for these doors? So I'm trying to think. So there's some of the doors we've been through that are green. It's just taken us to more alleyways. I don't know. Okay, so let's just concentrate. So purple. What is it? Where does purple take us? What type of theme? So purple takes us... Oh, is it like a church? Bye -bye.